Hi Church, my name is Justin, I go to Central Campus um, and I've got the privilege this morning um, of talking to you guys about Luke uh, chapter 2 verse 15. Uh, it's a very exciting, very, very exciting part in the Bible. When the angels have left and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to each other, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us all about. The, she- the angels have just gone back into heaven The shepherds are turning to each other, probably in the pitch black, with a lot of ringing in their ears. They've just seen heaven touch earth. They've just heard holy, holy, holy. They've just encountered, like sometimes people look a little bit shell-shocked when they hear us crank up the first praise song on a Sunday morning. They have just witnessed what that looks like and what that feels like. And in the craziness of that moment, hey, we all we all experience the craziness of Christmas. We've all we've all got the, the the kids running around unwrapping things, the mess of that, and the Christmas dinner, and the mess of that, and and that leaves a ringing in our ears, just like the the shepherds on the mountain on the, on the hills out there in the in the fields. They they experience that. Um, just like us on a Sunday morning, we experience that, and just like the craziness. Of, of Christmas Day in, uh, in definitely in our house and I hope in your house as well as full of laughter uh, and full of noise as all the kids are, are ripping into presents and, and so on. It does leave a ringing in the ear. Let's, let's imagine for a moment that, that, that we were the shepherds, that we could experience that moment of holy, holy, as all the angels and all of heaven sang and gathered together and sang holy, holy. That moment is heaven touching earth. We get close to it on a Sunday in our worship. Um, our worship teams lead really well and, and, and it's an incredible moment. Um, and you can see by the new people, the people clutching their new bags, um, who are experienced audacious worship and audacious praise for the first time. Um, when they get to experience that and they probably look like the shepherds looked, when they all turn to each other and go, crumbs, are we coming back here again? Um, is the same as um, the, the, the shepherds responding and reacting to um, heaven touching earth in that in that moment Um, i love it that heaven touches the common man heaven heaven goes out and 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 proclaims the good news and the guys go let's go to bethlehem let's see what god has done we've we get an incredible opportunity in our church when the holy spirit moves in worship as he always does um, to experience that ringing in our ears. Um, but what does that encourage us, church, to, to go out and do it? It, it, it almost expects a reaction of, of worship and praise and adoration, but it, 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 it mean, means a, a realisation that what is God? God is doing something on the inside of us that has an eternal value. In, in that moment, I dare to say that um, the, the seeds of eternity were planted in the hearts of those shepherds, That happens on a Sunday for us in worship with people who are experiencing it for the first time. But it also happens for us as 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 hardcore Christians, as we've been here, we've we've done Christmas a few times. Let's let's not in the busyness of Christmas, in the busyness of this Christmas season, let's not miss out on that encounter on that moment of holy, holy. Let's enjoy that moment. Let's let's grab it with both hands because whatever God has started on the inside of you, he's going to carry that on into, into completion. Even in our carol services, as we all get together and sing holy, holy, holy. God's, God's putting that eternal perspective into our hearts. He's also putting it into the hearts of people visiting us. And, and let's believe for, for a moment that everybody that comes to our carol services for the first time gets completely gets completely impact, impacted by the Holy Spirit. And, 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 and as the ringing is in our ears from all of our crazy, as our crazy Christmas fun, um, I pray that the, the Holy Spirit in, in, those, in those moments would still, would still abide with you and still rest with you, church, and still be on and around everything that you're doing 
and 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 the bleed the 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 reaction of being in the presence of god would would go out into our world and touch the friends and the families and the people in the craziness and busyness of christmas that our our relationship of holy 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 would be mercy love grace peace all those amazing things that come out of us as as christians so church i'm gonna i'm gonna pray for your dear lord um i pray that you would be in the middle of all of our messy christmases i pray that you would be in the middle of our fun and our families and I pray, Holy Spirit, that you would be absolutely unleashed, unleashed in every way, in every in every moment that we spend time with the people that we love that aren't in relationship with you yet. Jesus, we love you. We thank you. that You are the reason for this season. Amen.